We're going to work with Slipstream Fabric Dye, which is a cold reactive dye, and all the chemicals are pre-packed at optimum quantities in the packaging. It's always a good idea to work with latex gloves to protect your hands. So before you start, put on your gloves and let's go. This is the fail-safe technique for working with the dye and definitely the most reliable. I've heated some water in a pot on a gas bottle and now I'm going to stir in the dye until all the lumps are dissolved. important to stir out all the lumps before you add in any of the other chemicals because the salt affects the solubility of the dye powder. Once I'm sure that all the lumps are gone, I'm going to stir in the salt. Now I'm going to stir in the fabric. At this point, I'm going to check the temperature of the liquid before I add the soda ash. The dye is definitely 65 degrees Celsius, which is the optimum temperature for the product to work. And it's a good time to add the soda ash. Now you'll stir the fabric for another 10 minutes to batter it nicely into the fiber of the fabric. After 10 minutes, you can take it off the heat and leave it to stand overnight. Let's see how this technique met the criteria of the chemistry. I selected the correct fabric source, the chemicals went in at optimum levels, we definitely had water in the pot and it was hot, and we gave the reaction time to work. We also worked over here where the chemicals were most effective. So this fabric should take the dye nicely. It is important to understand that we are working with translucent color. What that means is that the color is see-through. If you put it against a white background, the colors will be clear and sharp. If you put it over a black background, it will have very, very little effect. 